are talking about the movie Scare Campaign. This is a 2016 Australian horror film by Cameron and Colin Cairns. So I can't really tell you too much about the plot of this one. There's a very good reason for that. You are best off going into this movie relatively blind uh, because this whole premise of this film relies a lot on kind of twists and turns and I don't want to give away any spoilers. What I will tell you is the plot involves a group of pranksters and these guys basically set up like, scare pranks basically. I'm sure you've seen plenty of them online, the spider dog, all that kind of thing, you know. And these guys basically set up these kind of these these pranks uh, in hope of obviously scaring the public and things like that, and to get TV ratings. But uh, times are changing, and they kind of interrupt their game through reasons that are explained in the film. And uh, their latest stunt goes somewhat awry, shall we say? That's all I'm going to tell you about the plot, because like I said, the whole fun of this film is going on this ride with these guys basically, and kind of getting on this windy path and finding out what happens. What I will tell you is this film, I would say, is a mixture between the uh, the movie The Game, which was, the, I think, for Michael Douglas, but with kind of elements from The Purge, from Saw, and from Hostel as well. And I would have to say, if you are a slasher film fan, this film is gonna be a slasher film's wet dream. So I really like this film, I thought it was very well done. The first 20 minutes or so, I feel, are a little slow. Um, purposely so, and kind of, they're a little bit kind of low tech, shall we say. But bear with it, because I promise you, when you kind of get to a certain point, it will really ramp up. Uh, if I had to have some other negatives before I go on to the more of the positive stuff, the when, we, when you kind of watch the film as a whole, and you think about the grand scheme of things, I feel, mm, actually, maybe it was a little bit too maybe convoluted, and things kind of were... How can I put it? Maybe a little bit too organised for for its own good, if you know what I mean. Well, you won't know what I mean, but if you watch the film, then you will. But on to the positives. They're really any real negatives to this film, because I feel this, this film covers a lot of bases, basically. I feel it's very well acted. I think... Uh, I was expecting kind of plot twists in this one, but I was kind of pleasantly surprised in the directions that it went. It doesn't try... It, I feel this, uh, this film doesn't treat its audience like idiots. So this is a film that basically knows you've watched horror films basically and knows what you're kind of expecting and plays with your expectations accordingly. So all I'll say, but it's a good film. It's well directed, well acted. There are some very good gore effects here. Um, some quite realistic ones. Again, you'll kind of have to get through the first 20 minutes or so before you'll kind of see what I mean here. Uh, and overall, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it certainly points to a kind of larger world should we say so there could well be sequels and stuff like that there are a couple of minor points plot points that ones i keen on but overall this film is, is very very good it's very enjoyable try and go into it as blind as you can I, I, you know i've deliberately kind of been a bit vague of this review so i'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10 it was pretty damn good i really enjoyed it uh and i'm, I'm glad to see uh, some decent Australian horror film after the disappointing Me, My Mates and the Zombie Apocalypse which I thought wasn't very good to be honest with you. So I'm glad to see a good Australian horror film. Anyway, uh, have you seen it? What do you think of it? Leave a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.